Hey, it's Carlos. Today I'm helping Rick of Rathmel Construction prepare a cost estimate for replacing the cement patio. The homeowner told him that he wants to double the length and the width of the patio. Rick's taking all the measurements so that he can do the calculations, and he asked me to check him over just to be sure. Before he can complete his cost estimate, he needs to know how changing dimensions affects area. Hey, there's no time to lounge around on this job. Sharpen your pencil and let's figure out another problem solved. Here's the patio. Rick measured and found that it's 10 feet wide by 12 feet long. So the area of the old patio is 120 square feet. But remember, the customer wants to double the length and the width. So the new patio would be 20 feet by 24 feet. The area of the new patio would be 480 square feet. Rick's question to me was, how can that be? The owner wants to double the dimensions of the patio, but the new area isn't doubled. It's four times as big. The good news is that Rick's calculations are correct. The area of the new patio will be 480 square feet. What he needs to understand is that when the linear dimensions of a shape double, the area quadruples. That's why the area of the new patio is four times the original area. Here's how I explained it to Rick. The area of a one by two foot rectangle is two square feet. If you double the linear dimensions to two feet by four feet, the scale factor is two. As you can see, the new area is eight square feet. That is four times the original area, so the area factor is four. If you triple the linear dimensions to three feet by six feet, the scale factor is three, and the new area is 18 square feet. The area is nine times the original, so the area factor is nine. If you quadruple both linear dimensions, the area is 16 times the original. Let's put this information into a table and look for a pattern. When the scale factor is two, the area factor is four or two squared. When the scale factor is three, the area factor is nine or three squared. When the scale factor is four, the area factor is 16 or four squared. As each of the two dimensions of a rectangle is multiplied by the same number, the area is multiplied by the square of that number. I'm gonna ride back to the office with Rick and help him finish his estimate. He's got nothing to worry about. His calculations are correct. If you find yourself in a similar situation, just remember how changing the linear dimensions affects area, and you'll have the perfect perspective on the proportion of your patio. Problem solved.